Yeah. Let's see who stopped by the house. What's up, man? What's up, Swoop? Greatest point in your life so far, because you made it. So for me, I'm not there yet. I've only done stuff to touch the surface. I like red, but on this one, I always do red. I just wanted a touch of the red on this one. You were born in Louisiana, right? Right, born in Louisiana. My mom and dad both played college sports at LSU. I wanted to be better than like when I came out the womb. Like I was born into competitiveness. James Hart, hey, foul! Oh, what do you think is the best one exercise? Diet. I can do five do things right, of? and I eat wrong, and all those five things get taken out. You got one paragraph you can leave for your kids, oh, your family, Andrew, planet Earth. Don't think that tomorrow's promise. Life's too short, like you really never know. Do you consider yourself a procrastinator now? Nah, so I'm not. So you got over it. Then especially 2018, we're getting right to the point. Yeah, we got fun. Odell Beckham Jr. I got Koi Fish. We got Koi Fish in here. He said he was gonna give me a they house tour. Names. You're gonna give me a house tour of my yeah, own house? Yeah, these are my fish. Jimmy! <laughs> Come here. Come here, Jimmy. Come here. He, he ain't eat today. I got one. If you look closely, one has a lion face. It's crazy. That's the craziest one. face. So what's what's next after tonight? You going to uh Man, get some food. It's my it's my boy's birthday, man. My brother's birthday. I know. Where is he? We gotta say happy happy birthday. Thank oh. you, my man. That's good. You guys. Capricorns. Hey. Y'all be easy, Ryan. Don't break nothing. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let me ask you a question that that has nothing to do with football. Mm-hmm. Emotionally. Mm-hmm. Greatest point in your life so far. Still young. Mm, How did it feel? What say. happened and what did it feel like? Because you made it. Like, how many people want to make it as pro athlete? You made it. Right. You made it in the NFL. It's, it's satisfying in the sense of, like, this is what I wanted to do. This was a goal that I set out to accomplish, but when you're not exactly at where you're at or where you want to be at, yeah, it's a little harder to deal with. So for me, I'm not there yet. I've only done stuff to touch the surface. I got so you still feel, even though you you have even record on top my of record, potential, no record on record, all and that's and and part of me is like, damn, I'm being greedy. You know, guys giving me so much, I'm being greedy. Like the way that I think, I, I deserve more and all the things. And it's like, I do, and I know that, but I just want it so badly that, like, patience is my biggest test. You think you're not patient? I was, I was, I was, and the moment you get not patient, things happen to remind you to be patient. Didn't you play soccer? Isn't soccer your other thing? Well, not now. Yeah, soccer was my sport, though. It went soccer, basketball, football, baseball, which is funny. Really? Football? And football was third, but it ended up being what worked out. It was the easiest thing for me to do. Basketball, you have to go to all kind of camps. You have to go to... Yeah. It's a lot harder to make it. Yeah. You know? What was your childhood like? Childhood... You were, you're from, you were born in Louisiana, right? Right, born in Louisiana. My mom and dad both played college sports at LSU. Grew up in an athletic family, you know, we had the typical Did you have you know, pressure struggle. on you because of them? No, I, I, I wanted to be better than them, like when I came out the womb. Like I was born into competitiveness. Yeah. No matter if, if we were to sit right here and shoot 10 shots, like you beat me on a 10, like... We, You'll stay here hey, forever? Man, just, just, <laughs> let's play again, you know? Like I got to play again. So I, was, I grew up on the competitive side with my family. But well, 1 to 10, like how competitive are you? Are you a full 10? Like, if you lose, uh, I, do you I, literally I, go home and go crazy? Yeah. Yeah? My steering wheel, I'm going to, I don't know what's going to happen to the steering wheel. I remember after a game, I was punching the steering wheel. Really? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go home. I'm not going to get but two hours of sleep. I don't. Does it I make you train harder? Are you like Kobe, you like lose, and then I, you shoot like 500 uh, shots? When I say, when I say I'm, I know I've seen a lot of people who hate to lose. Yeah. I might be the worst loser. Like, really? I don't I do not want to lose. So you sore think be a sore loser. That's uh, the key. If you're not a sore loser, you're not a winner. Yeah. I could take my L's when I when it's like a respectful L, but when I'm Yeah. Awesome. When it didn't mm -hmm. when it was just nah, something else man, outside playing, of your control. Y'all playing, yeah. Come on, stop playing with me. I'm not okay with this. You know, the more I inter interview top people like you. They all say the same. Yeah, Mark Cuban really? was here. We did a half court contest, shoot a shot. Yeah. And I hit it and he didn't hit it. He stayed out here by himself for 45 minutes. He wouldn't I come in the house. I got to hit this right quick. <laughs> I got German Shepherds in my face and I'm scared. 
James Harden. Hey, foul. Left side of the court for the three. Boom. I'm trying to tell you. The left side. <laughs> Best side. Oh. We two, are. two for two. New Year's resolutions. What do you think is the best one exercise? Cardio. You want me to tell you honestly? Yeah. Diet. Diet. I can't even lie to you. You can do whatever you want. If you eat right, it eliminates a lot of stuff. If you eat wrong, you can do everything right and you eat wrong. Yeah. And it takes away. It's like it's like the the factor of like five to one. I can do five really, things right. Oh, okay. And I eat wrong, and all those five things get taken out. Hmm. You think it's that much? It's that much. And so, I've come to realize in my in my short time and being a professional, diet was everything. Yeah. So I'm working on my diet now. Trying. Well, are you going? What do you think? Vegan, paleo? Like, there's so many. I can't give up carb. ramen noodles. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Ramen noodles and hot Cheetos is a snack at any point. But other than that, other than that, I've given it up. You know, I've given it up. So what do you think? What, what's your one go-to healthy food? Salmon with a little, a little grape poupon. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dijon mustard. And okay. um, Italian balsamic vinaigrette. Real quick, or just a little, put it on the salmon. Make sure it's deboned, because if you sit there eating the bones up, we're not working with it. And the kale. Kale. Yeah. Okay, what car? What, what? Do you care about cars? Some people yeah, don't care I mean, about all of my cars, you know, right here, my, you know, this, this the, um, this the Lamborghini that I got. <laughs> uh, He's double checking. You know what I mean? You are, everybody know you gotta have the red Rari. I did that with the peanut brittle guts. This is, um, 2000 something, one of them, <laughs> one of them Rory's. You know, I got the Ghost Phantom right here. You know, I had to have the, I like red, but on this one, I always do red. I just wanted a touch of the red on this one. So I put it around the trim and around little spots in there. This is one really, you know, trim. It's just the details. You already know the Dawn, man, had to you get like it. The dawn. Hey, you what's the mean? first thing when you- when Giants you blue, blue helmets. I ain't put the NY on there because I wanted to just keep it real subtle. But yeah, you know, these are my cars. Uh, certified <laughs> in my name right here. Odell. James. That's. <laughs> cut, tell him, make sure you cut that part out. That's, <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you did when you got money? Did what? Were you the kind of person that like splurged and went out and bought a Ferrari? Or were you just like, it's not that I buy my house. And, it's not that I splurged anything. My mom won't let me buy her anything. And your mom won't let you buy anything? No. But the thing is, it's not that I splurged, it's that I enjoyed life. If, if I wanted to go somewhere, which I had never got to travel, which I had never been to LA, I had never been to Miami, only went to Miami for a training camp or yeah. just a camp to get an offer. Yeah. I would go there, I would get in the hotel. So what makes you the happiest? What's simple things? Mm. Simple things. Simple thing, like man. Thanksgiving, vibe, dinner with family. Vibes. Okay. Just no matter, I don't care if it's Thanksgiving, I don't care if it's we're playing poker, I don't care if it's we're reading a book all together. It's just the vibe of wherever you're at. It just has to be good energy at all times. This what is it? What, this is a new painting I got from a guy, and Casey Bow in, in um, Brooklyn. Do you like art? I like art. I, I want to get into it more because I don't. This is up. This guy's up and coming. Yeah. This guy, oh yeah. You need to let me know about all the paintings that are gonna be worth something. What do you think about Bitcoin? You think it's crazy? Let's go up here real quick. I'm on the Ripple. Ripple. Oh yeah, Ripple. I think Ripple is gonna be bigger than Bitcoin. This is my final question for you. Today's your last day on Earth. You're going to Mars with Elon Musk. That's how I live every day, though. So this question is gonna be hard to ask me. Be hard. Okay. You got one paragraph you can leave for your kids, okay. your family, okay. planet Earth. What's it say? It's Greatest thing you learned. It's learn. crazy because I'm not even going to think about a paragraph. I would just think about we're fortunate to have the expectancy to wake up tomorrow. Yeah. But don't think that tomorrow's promise. Yeah. So whatever you can do in today, do in today. Whatever you could say in today, say in today. And whatever you could act in today, do that. 
because you never know what's promised tomorrow. It's not so promised. no procrastination. No, just just do it. And it's one thing I had to learn. I always was a procrastinator. You were a procrastinator. I do. I do. I hold. Really? I held back. It's like I didn't want. You didn't want confrontation or stuff like that. But if you don't go for what your heart desires and what you want to do, you'll never know if you're gonna get what you expected out of life. So just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, go do you for consider it. yourself a procrastinator now? Nah, so I'm you not, got over it. 2000, especially 2018, we're getting right to the point. We're we're not yeah. wasting no time. If you got something to say, say it. You know what I mean? Because I, I mean, I'm sure I might have something to say back, and we're not holding back. And for what? Life's too short. Like you really never know. We yeah. really never know. You could be like, wow, that's crazy. I just seen him yesterday. Right, and they're gone. Live life. Thank you, man, for taking you the time. Know. I appreciate it. You already know it, brother.